First thing I want to do today is talk about um, the density worksheet. So we already did number one. I went ahead and redid it and put it up here for you. So if you were gone, um, you can check your answer to that. Uh, I went ahead and put the equation up here, m is equal to v times d. Um, so make sure your answers are correct as we go through this. Also make sure you get the correct number of digits and the correct units. So in this first one, the answer is 3.7. The reason why I rounded it to two digits is because 55 has two digits and 15 has two digits. So you can't be more accurate than your least accurate number. And then the units for this are grams per cubic centimeter. Not sure if you can see that or not. Um, number two, it says the liquid has a mass of 80 grams and a volume of 95 milliliters. Calculate the density. So we're going to say, put in for our mass, 80 grams is equal to 95 milliliters times D. You're going to divide both sides by 95. And you're going to get D is 80 divided by 95, which is um, 0 0.842105. It doesn't really matter. Since 80 has one significant digit, we're just going to call it 0.8 um, grams per cubic centimeter or milliliter. doesn't matter to me because they're the same thing. Number three, a weird object is put in a graduated cylinder that contains water. The level of water rises from 50 to 62. So that's a change of 12. So that's the volume of the object. The mass of the object is 20 grams. So we're going to put for the mass 20 is equal to 12. Okay, 62 minus 50 times D, divide both sides by 12, and you get D is equal to 20 divided by 12, which is 1.6 repeating, but we only have one digit here, so we're going to round that to 2 grams per cubic centimeter. Number four, a uh, rock is put in an overflow can and 145 milliliters of water comes out. So that's the volume of the rock, 145 milliliters. Uh, when put on the trophy balance, the rock has a mass of 300 grams, calculate the density. So 300 grams is equal to 145 milliliters times D. Divide both sides by 145. And you get D is... Um, 2.068965517, 300 only has one digit, so we're just going to call it 2 grams per cubic centimeter again. Number five, a small toy ball has a mass of 15 grams and a volume of 40 cubic centimeters. Calculate its density. So 15 is equal to 40 times D. Divide both sides by 40, and you get D is equal to... 0.375, but 40 just has one digit, so it's just 0.4 grams per cubic centimeter. Number six, a rectangular prism measures 5 by 4 by 10. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the volume, which is just going to be this. Um, volume is equal to length times width times height for anything rectangular. So volume is 5 times 4 times 10. Um, which is 5 times 4 is 20, times 10 is 200 cubic centimeters. That's the correct number of digits, too. So calculate the density. So 180 is equal to 200 times D. Divide both sides by 200. And you get D is equal to 180 divided by 200 is 0.9, which this has one digit, so that's all we need. So 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter. So I'm going to erase this and move it up so we can see the rest of it. And we'll solve those too. Number seven, we told you last week we weren't going to do. So we'll skip number seven. And we'll move it up to eight, nine, and ten. So number eight, an object has a mass of 100 grams and a volume of 80 cubic centimeters, calculate the density. Again, so 100 is equal to 80 times D, divide both sides by 80, 
80 and 100 both have one significant digit, so we want to round our answer to one significant digit. So 100 divided by 80 is 1.25, but round that to one digit, it's just going to become one gram per cubic centimeter. Number nine and 10 are a little bit different because they're asking for different parts of this. Number nine says an object is made of material that has a known density of five grams per cubic centimeter. The object has a mass of 80 grams. What's its volume? So same equation, m is equal to v times d, but we know the 80, uh, we don't know the volume, and we know the density is five. So divide both sides by five again. 80 divided by 5 is 16, but we want that written to one digit. So to write 16 in one digit would be to round it to, we'd have to round it to 20 cubic centimeters. On number 10, an object is made of a material that has a known density of 5 grams per cubic centimeter. If the object has a volume of 200 cubic centimeters, what's its mass? So we're trying to find M. So M is equal to... 200 times 5, or m is equal to, if you do the math, it's 1,000 grams. This has one digit, this has one digit, so 1,000 is one digit. So that's the density worksheet. So the rest of the time today um, at home, you need to be working on changes of matter. So let me show you that real quick. I'll erase all this, and we'll flip it over to my computer screen. And so if you look at the announcement for today, um, today and tomorrow, okay, some of you will do this on the 8th at home, some of you will do this on the 9th, it says this. At school, students at school will do the, the density of solids lab, so we're going to do that at school. At home, you need to watch the density worksheet discussion, which I just, which is what I'm showing you right now. Um, click on classifying matter under modules, which I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Write the classifying matter notes in your comp book. Read pages 45 to 50 in your textbook. Answer questions 1, 2, and 4 through 7 on page 50 in um, the text box link on, on Canvas. I'll show you that too. You also need to write them in your comp book, so you've got them for later or any quizzes that we take. And then there's a classifying matter web that you'll need to put in your comp book too. So that's what you need to have done um, before the, the next time you come into to class. So let me click out of this, let me go back home, and I'll show you what the student view looks like here. So if I click on student view, which you guys, this is what you'll see. Um, I, I haven't posted, this is Tuesday, so I haven't posted the announcement yet. It won't be posted until Thursday. But you can, I don't have to go back here. Bear with me here just a second. I'm going to change the date on this so you can you can see it when I open it up. Okay, so now I'm going to go back home, and um, let's look and see what you guys see on this. So again, the announcement hasn't been posted yet, but if I go under modules, I can open up classifying matter. So let's look at classifying matter. When I click on it, this is what comes up. It tells you what to read. It says, um, here's a link to the book, pages 45 to 50. Here's the notes. For some reason, the notes also got put in here at the bottom, too. Um, but you can, you can just click on this link to get to the notes. And then here's the web. So you need to put all of that in there. And it says over here in red, to get the six points on the assignment, type your answers in the text box. Click on the black box at the top of the page. It says submit assignment. So right here is what you'll click on. And so if you click on it, it gives you a text entry. So you'll need to put your answers into here and then submit it. That's how you're going to get the six points for this lab. If you have any questions, 
um, you can either ask them on the Zoom meeting or um, you can email. If you don't get to all of this before the end of the hour, you can email me your questions.